Let's look at the advantages of becoming a professional salesperson. Let's write down the question or the statement, what are the advantages of becoming a professional salesperson? And there's many, many, many advantages. Let's write down letter A. Our confidence increases in all aspects of the sales process. Letter A, our confidence increases in all aspects of the sales process. As we learn what to say and what to do, our confidence increases in all aspects of the sales process. I can't, I can't even begin to tell you, guys and gals, how important that confidence is. I had a wonderful evening about three weeks ago with my very first boss, the first man that ever hired me and gave me a real job, okay, when I was 20 years old. His name was Bob Neville. Great guy. Bob built a wonderful career in Los Angeles, built up a large title insurance company called Equity Title, sold that, has retired numerous times, very, very successful. And Bob and I are sitting at dinner at the Venetian Hotel in Las Vegas, and we're sitting at this wonderful restaurant having dinner, and Bob said to me, do you remember, Mike, the first few presentations you made in front of a group? I said, absolutely. I remember him playing his day. He said, remember, I used to make you get up in front of 10, 20, 30 real estate agents and try to convince them to use our title insurance company versus some other title insurance company. I said, I remember. He said, do you remember? We could actually watch your knees shaking <laughs> as you were talking. You were so nervous. I said, I remember. My knees banged together so many times, I think I hurt my knees. <laughs> he said, Mike, I remember you would stand there and your paper would be shaking so hard that you actually look like you were going to pass out. I said, I remember. <laughs> then he asked me this question. So what changed? What changed? Listen to what I said, Michael. I did it 5,000 more times, perfecting the skill. 5,000 more times I've done presentations. Now my knees don't shake, although I have to I, I admit this morning at 7.30, one of the ladies walked up to me and said, Mr. Ferry, I said, please call me Mike. She said, Mike, do you get nervous before these presentations? I said, ma'am, I've done this over 5,000 times. I said, I'm a professional. This is what I do for a living. She said, then why are you standing in the ladies' room? <laughs> oh, excuse me. Well, I said, my last name is Ferry. I can go either way. What the heck, right? Does confidence come to us easily, yes or no? No. That only comes through that repetitious, constant, continuous learning and growing and practicing and learning and growing and practicing. I wrote down letter B. The advantage of becoming a professional salesperson. Every transaction will close faster. Every transaction will close faster. Professional salespeople get deals done quicker. I'm still amazed that today, January 2013, there's seminars being done all over North America where they're teaching a real estate person how to make a two-hour listing presentation. I mean, for goodness sakes, what are we thinking about? What the hell are you going to say for two hours? I mean, watch. Believe me, after an hour and 15 minutes, I take a break. And I'm as good as it gets at this job. And you're going to sit there for two hours in front of a seller and speak? It's absolutely impossible. So therefore, you speed up the process. Now, there's no way that a person can do 100 deals a year, 150, 200 deals a year, if they're moping along, hi, I'm really happy to be here. <laughs> Excited. <laughs> okay. Let me tell you about me. See, there's no way that you're going to inspire confidence in the seller and have confidence in yourself if you're not speeding up the process. I wrote down letter C. 
the prospects make decisions faster. When you're a professional salesperson, the prospects make decisions faster. A couple of days ago in Las Vegas, I did a little private seminar for the Mortgage Association and then invited about 100 local realtors to attend. It was kind of fun. It was a private event. So I demonstrated something that all of you already know to this audience. I said, when you go on a listing presentation, if you just start with three questions. So they all looked at me and I said, when you walk in the front door, I want you to simply say, do you folks absolutely have to sell your home? And if they say yes, I want you to say, do you want to price it to sell or keep it on the market for a long time? And if they say, I want to price it to sell, I want you to smile and say, do you want me to handle the listing for you? And if they say yes, ask them to sign the contract. Well, the lady puts up her hand. I said, yes, ma'am, what is it? She goes, that would never happen. I said, you're right. She goes, see? I said, it would never happen to you. <laughs> well, why wouldn't it happen to me? I said, because you don't believe it will happen to you. It's not complicated, is it? See, if you don't believe in yourself, the vote is always unanimous. And the reason why certain people perform at a higher level than other people is because they believe in themselves. So therefore, the customers make decisions faster. So about three quarters of the way through my two hour presentation, a guy puts up his hand and I said, yes, sir. And it was a small, very private, intimate group. He goes, so what are you gonna try to sell us today? I said, nothing. I have nothing to sell. He goes, oh, come on. I've heard about you. You're always trying to sell us on something. I said, well, I'm trying to sell you on you becoming more productive. Yeah, but you must want to sell me something. I said, wait, quite honestly, I, don't, I have nothing to sell you. I said, these are ideas you can use. He said, well, don't you want to sell me on your coaching? I said, well, would you like to buy the coaching? <laughs> he said, well, I'd like to. I said, fine, give me your card and I'll sign you up. <laughs> you make decisions a little faster, yes or no? Who wants to make decisions faster? Who wants the customers to make decisions faster? Get better prepared at what you say. Because some of you in this room can go into a house and get a listing contract signed in 5, 10, 15 minutes. Some of you it takes 5, 10, 15 days. Letter D. The number of contracts signed increases. As you become a more professional salesperson, the number of contracts you get signed increases. Guys and gals, it's exciting. I mean, I can't even tell you how many emails I've received in the first 15 days of this month from what some of the people in this room have done in terms of production. I'm getting emails, Neil, every day. I've got 13 listings already taken this month. I've already had nine sales this month. I've already had 11 closings this month, carryover from life. I'm going, these numbers are incredible. Everybody says they want more contracts signed, right? Say yes. yes. Well, how is that going to happen unless you become a professional salesperson? Letter D. Just checking on you, okay? <laughs> You'll earn substantially more money you'll earn substantially more money. That's a big deal. And we're not talking about a little bit of money. We're talking about a lot of money, okay? Now, guys and gals, we've got to get through this crazy thought process that there is something wrong with people that make a lot of money. Okay. At lunch, after the seminar, go outside and look where the aircraft carrier is sitting. And right to the right of it is sitting the world's largest to date individually owned private yacht. It's sitting right there in the harbor. So you can look out the window and see it. It's 385 feet long, this private yacht. Watch, that's longer than this room, okay? 385-foot yacht. I figured out this thing probably costs someplace around $500 million to build. Now, is that great or what? <laughs> Come on, how many think that's pretty good? Raise your hands real high. I mean, watch, 383-foot yacht? 
So we looked it up online, of course, immediately last night. And of course, the owner happens to be a Russian billionaire. He's worth 11.5 billion. Ba 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 ba. Not ma 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 ma. Ba 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 ba. Do you know the difference between ma 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 and ba 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 ba? It's big. Okay, huge. A lot of you are millionaires, but a ba 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 ba. That's big bucks. I mean, think about that. Now, this thing probably has a crew of 70 to 80 people that live on the boat full time. Just the crew to take care of him. And it's just one guy. Now, I mean, now you're, some of you say, well, I would never do that if I had the money. Idiot. <laughs> Somebody said to me last week, Neil, this one. Now, Mike, if you won $200 million in the lottery, what would you do? Well, you would see the back of me. <laughs> and you would never see me again. OK? OK? Now watch. More money to you if you make and become a great salesperson. But here's the problem. Let's go back to the opening line from this morning, where I said to you the challenge is it's a self-image problem. You can't imagine yourself doing it. You can't close your eyes and see it. Guys and gals, so I wrote down a question. How do I earn more money? Answer, give the highest quality service possible to other people. How do I earn more money? Give the highest quality service possible to other people. That's how I earn a lot of money. I remember sitting with a wonderful man in his office. This is, goes back to the early to mid-1990s. Unfortunately, this man, Gino knew him well, passed away about a year ago. He was the chairman of Century 21 Worldwide, and then he retired. And he retired when the company was purchased by, or it was either HFS or somebody, Dick Laughlin, who you knew well. And I'm sitting with Dick Laughlin, who is the chairman of C21, in his office up in Newport Beach. And he had called me to come over in the afternoon. He said, you know, Mike, today's my last day. Now, picture this. I had met Dick Laughlin when I was 18 years old. I was a delivery boy for First American Title Insurance Company. And one of the places that I had to deliver to every day from the title company was the local Santa Ana Board of Realtors. Dick Laughlin was the executive officer at the board and ended up chairman at that time of the biggest real estate company in the world. And we had been friends virtually from the time I was a teenager. At this time, I was in my mid-40s. So he calls me over his office, and he says to me the following. All right, Mike, today's my last day. You've done a lot for our company over the years. I want to say thank you. I said, Dick, of course. I've, I, I work hard, and I know you've worked hard, and I just do what I'm supposed to do. He said, OK, can I ask you a question? I said, of course. What do you want to ask? Now, he had a brandy snifter and a big cigar. Dig was a big, physical, imposing man. What was he, probably six foot six, I would guess, Gino. 250 pounds, a big, strong guy. He takes a puff off the cigar and he says, all right, Mike, how in the hell do you make all the money you make doing the work you do? I said, well, Dick, I need to ask you a question. Is today really your last day? He said, yeah, 4 o'clock, I'm out of here. I said, OK, I can tell you the truth. He said, OK, how do you make all the money you make? I said, I give to all the Century 21 brokers and salespeople all the services that they pay you for that you never deliver. <laughs> now, he looked at me for about five minutes and never said a word. Then he stood up, and I didn't know if he was going to throw me out or hit me, and he said, that's a pretty damn good idea. I said, I know. My job is to deliver good service, right or wrong. What's your job? Ooh, half of you didn't know the answer. All right, now here's the answer. My job is to deliver great service. One, two, three. My job is to deliver great service. Can you do it without knowing what to say? No. Can you do it without knowing what to do? Can you do it by not making sure whatever you say is actually done? Can't be done. So how do I earn more money? 
I learned to give great service to other people. So then I wrote down, how do I learn to give the highest quality service? And the answer is by becoming a professional salesperson. The only way, guys and gals, that I can give the highest quality service is to become a professional salesperson. I have to become committed to being the best of the best of the best of the best of the best, period. Guys and gals, there is no second place. There's first place, you, and then there's all the rest. You have to commit to being the best, highest quality professional salesperson in the industry. So we'll go to letter F. The advantage of becoming a professional salesperson. Your repeat and referral business improves. Your repeat and your referral business improves. Tomorrow we're going to hand you a very interesting, I will state this, I thought it was interesting, 10-page <laughs> report that I wrote on the topic of prospecting. Now some of you will say, oh yeah, Mike Ferry, all he talks about is prospecting. Well, let me ask you a question. If you never prospect, are you likely to build a big residential sales business, yes or no? No. So therefore we might consider prospecting as being an important part of the business. And then if you're going to prospect, do you have to prospect in a professional manner, yes or no? Yes. Hi. You want to sell your home? I didn't think so. Here's my card. It's magnetized. Put it on your refrigerator. It's like a weight loss program. You walk up, you look at my picture, makes you sick, you won't eat, you lose weight. I mean, how pathetic are we as an industry, right? So watch this. More repeat and referral business. How many people in this room have been coming to Mike Ferry seminars for more than five years? Raise your hands real high. Watch, guys and gals, it's over 60% of the room. But Mike, you always talk about the same stuff. Do you have any new problems? <laughs> well, yes or no? no? Watch, a professional basketball team practices the same plays every day, with the exception, of course, the Lakers. Okay. Hey, how about congratulations to San Francisco and Baltimore? Isn't that great? That is great. And you must be from Baltimore. Just kidding. Okay. But now watch. Do you realize the amount of effort and energy and practice and intensity that goes into getting to the Super Bowl, for God's sakes? Watch. I want everybody here to win the Super Bowl of selling by accomplishing the goals you've set through the repeat and referral business that you earn. Then I wrote down letter G. By being a professional salesperson, you develop long-term consistent income. Long-term consistent income. Because guys and gals, that's the name of the game. Long-term consistent income. See, what you don't want is the stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, three closings, no closings, seven closings, one closing, four closings, no closings. You don't want that kind of a lifestyle. You want consistent income. You want to actually, in your mind, be able to list and sell homes so you're actually creating a revenue stream as if you were getting a paycheck on the 1st and 15th. It's just going to be huge. But you can't do that unless you develop those sales skills. And then, of course, I wrote down letter, what are we on? G. H. You build a strong, good reputation in the community. A strong, good reputation in the community. See, the other brokers, agents, buyers, sellers, competition, everybody else will start to understand that, you know, when they deal with and when, then when they deal with, and then they deal with, they're going to be dealing with the best of the best. See, you want to be seen as being a highly reputable, great salesperson. 
not only by buyers and sellers, but by the competition. You want to be seen as a person when you take a listing, other agents say, wow, I sold one of his listings. I must be pretty good. But see, we can't develop that reputation unless we're a great salesperson. And then letter I, or the last thing I put on this list. When you become a strong professional salesperson, you become a target for the competition. You become a target for the competition. Meaning, they're going to criticize you, they're going to condemn you, they're going to complain about you, they're going to bitch about you. But isn't it sad that as you become really good, you become a target? But see, the goal is to become a target. See, think about this. A person that does two transactions a year is not a target for anything except for bankruptcy. Okay? <laughs>